welcome to the crazy world of creepy software design and architecture. The world where developers apply learning by doing in a real and critical system. This story is based on true events. And what is wrong? And what is wrong? Web service call its own method by HTTP request. It's no big deal. Circular dependency. Yes, for sure. Endless classes. That's classic. Project template example files. And why not? Magic constants everywhere. Yes, yes, I know what that means. It's... Um, cross DB queries? It must be. And much more. Yes, for sure. Okay, okay, I see. But what is really wrong? What is really wrong? We have to take over the system full of crap application and services as well. It's like a bad dream. No, it's like the worst nightmare. But it's quite normal, right? Well, yes, you can have your own legacy system that has its own specific technical depths. But taking over a similar legacy system created by different contractor would be a real disaster. It can be so painful. But that's life, am I right? Yes. We have the best team of software engineers ever. And after several months, or less or more, depending on the complexity of the touchet system, we or you are able to fix some bugs, adjust some features, or create a new one. Life is back to normal. But something... still wrong. And what is wrong? Outdated technology stack. An old version of the programming language. Stale frameworks, ancient libraries, weird tools. Outdated designer architecture. Some patterns are anti-patterns now. Let's say the active record pattern is not as cool as it was a million years ago. Singleton is not dead, but implementation is really different nowadays. And other things, poor code quality, may be due to rush development during the initial phase, insufficient knowledge of domain or business, so many juniors programmers on board, and maybe because of Monday Blue Syndrome. Who knows? Another one, performance issues. Another, out of the standards, old HTTP API instead of shiny new cool RESTful API with open API. And the most important thing is really angry developers who are open to work. The system can be really complex because of poor design and architecture. Typical problem is dependency hell. There is typically good intention to create some design or architecture, for example, add some layers, but without effort to keep it fresh and maintain this idea. In that case, it's worse than simple folder structure in one project or library. For example, this simplified component diagram looks good. There are some layers, but unfortunately, without strict responsibility and purpose. There are no rules on where to put specific code. In our set case, the domain layer contains some UI logic, integration logic, and data logic as well. Every layer has so many dependencies to other packages. Mm, and how to resolve it? How to resolve it? You can create a new rule about these existing layers, but it will be really difficult to follow them. <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay, stop crying. As you said, that's life. What can we do? Or even better, what about our expectations? For example, me. I would like to work on modern, multi-platform, containerized, lightweight, performant, and most important, 
developer-friendly system. Don't forget to our developers who hate this system and they are open to work. Okay, we have the vision, but what are the steps to heaven? Update tech stack. It's easy, right? Or not? Oh, the new stack is so different after many years. Refactor designer architecture. How? Okay, okay, I got it. Refactor code smells. It's feasible, but there are no automated tests and the system is untestable because of poor design. I'm not brave, suicidal or daredevil. Performance tuning. Roger that. Add or update open API. So many ugly endpoints. I will not do it. Change the HTTP API to RESTful API. Oh no, what about our external clients and partners? Move to modern hosting stack. No way, it's Windows. Hmm, I don't like Windows containers. Mm, that means no containers, cloud, and Kubernetes. Really sad. Telemetry. But unfortunately, our old dev platform doesn't support instrumentation. We have to install agents to the application server instead of the application. It's feasible, but we will have limited metrics, logs, and traces. Hey, don't be skeptical. Everything is possible. And let me introduce to you our amazing refactor, redesign, and re-architecture system like this. Mm, it will take so much time and money, and the result will be amazing. And now we have to sell it to our business guys. Okay, okay, let's go. Oh, 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 stop, stop, don't do that. We know what will happen. Something like, nope, mm, nope, no, no, hell no. Why? Because it's typical that the business point of view is like a magic unicorn. Sometimes there is someone with a programming background and he or she can say, it's easy, just few lines of code and you can add some ifs. And when I was younger, I was a programmer and I'm still an expert, I think. Well, 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 there is no way. Mostly it's not such a great idea to present it to the product owner or business because modernization of the application will take so much time and effort. The positive impact on the business will be in the mist. Let's think about it. We can go to the rainforest and there is inspiration hidden in the trees. Once upon a time, there was a rainforest. Try to imagine big trees with treetops covering the sky and almost no light is touching the ground. It's so difficult for small plants to grow. There is a real competition for light. And there is seed falling down from the sky, from the sky to the ground. But as I said, the ground is dark and there are better places closer to the sky. This place is a branch of the big tree. This seed of thick is rooting in the upper branch and growing its roots downward and slowly enveloping the host tree. And they simultaneously grow upward close to the sunlight. And what about end of this story? Is it happy or not? Sometimes the fig kills the host tree and sometimes they coexist together. Hey, stop man, I don't care about some stupid documentary stuff. I need to resolve my problem. Yes, yes, I know, but we are close to the solution. Trust me. There is a really clever man. He caught this inspiration and introduced strangler fig pattern as hammer to break monolith and much more. Yes, sounds great. Could you show me how it helps in our legacy system? Okay, let's go ahead and get started. This is our legacy API with all weird libraries and these are our API clients. 
front-end application, external clients, other apps and services. Okay, but where is the solution? Let's add a shiny new RESTful API. Okay, that's nice, but now I have two problems instead of one. Hey, you have to be patient. And now I will add a reverse proxy. This proxy checks whether an endpoint exists in the new API. If this endpoint is implemented in the new API, then reverse proxy forward request there. If this endpoint doesn't exist in the new API, then request is forwarded to original legacy API. In the very first stage, all requests end in the original API because the new API is empty with no endpoint. But as time goes on, more endpoints will be in the new API and fewer in the old one. This is the process of host strangulation. The point is that the legacy system is shrinking a new system is increasing. And there are two possible ends. The first one is the host system is completely decommissioned. And second one, it contains just features that are not possible or suitable rewrite into the new API. And this is the end. No wait, what about real example? Okay, fair enough. I'm going to show you how to implement this pattern in the .NET world but the same or similar solution exists in all platforms. There is our solution with the legacy API. It's running and I am able to call endpoints. Now I'm going to add a new amazing ASP.NET Core RESTful API. Okay, I have two APIs, but how to implement Strangler pattern? Yes, you are right. I have to add a reverse proxy. There is a great package in the .NET. It's Yark, yet another reverse proxy. And the best advantage is its deep .NET integration. When you call an endpoint that does not exist in the new API, like this, the request is forwarded by YARP to an old legacy API, like in this case. But in this case, an existing endpoint in the new APIs is directly called YIYARP 
and no legacy API call is initiated. The best thing about this pattern is that modernization of the old bad legacy system is without pain and it has a minimal impact on the original application. Ha <laughs> ha